Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We are doing some integrals that involve using this inverse sine formula for our antiderivatives. We've got three examples we're going to work in this video. We've got them shown here. If you want to skip to a particular example, you can do that. Otherwise, you can work along with us and just do all three for some practice. Let's look at our first one. We've got our formula up here. So remember the integral of du over the square root of a squared minus u squared. We just want to bring your attention to the fact that in this formula, we're considering a to be some kind of a constant, and we are considering u to be some type of term that involves a variable. So what we'll do here is we'll actually take this integral, we'll make substitutions for u and a, turn it exactly into this formula, use exactly this formula, and then we'll substitute back in terms of x so you can see on each one of these. So if you look at this form, you might be able to tell that 4 is our a squared here, and this x squared is our u squared, right? So I can see a couple of things. I can see that a is 2, and I can also see that u is x, right? So I've got that. What I will also need to do, though, is replace my dx, right? If I've got my a and my u for this formula, then I'm also going to need the du that I have in this formula as well, right? So I have u equals x. Let's figure out our du. What's the derivative of x? Well, it's 1, right? So you could say du is 1 dx. I think a nicer way to say that is just du is dx, right? So then this part here becomes du. This becomes a squared, and this becomes u squared, right? So I get the integral of du over the square root of a squared minus u squared, making all of these substitutions here. So I've got my exact formula now. This is the definition. This is the answer for the integral. So we go ahead and say inverse sine of u over a plus c. And now all we need to do to complete this is just go back and look at what our u and our a were, right? My u was x, and my a was 2. So the answer to this integral is going to be inverse sine of x over 2 plus my constant. Okay, so again, decide your a, decide your u, find your du, substitute everything so it looks just like the definition, solve, replace your stuff back. Here we have the integral of dx over the square root of 25 minus 9x squared. So I want to see this 25 as my a squared. I want to see this 9x squared as my u squared. So let's write that down. So a would be what? a is 5, right, if 25 is my a squared. 9x squared is u squared, so then u really needs to be what? It needs to be 3x, right? Because if I square 3x, that'll give me 9 and x squared. So u is actually 3x in this one. What is du? Well, du, derivative of 3x, would be 3 dx. But now I don't have exactly that, right? So just be careful. What do we have? We have dx. This is 3 dx. What would I do to actually figure out what dx is? I could divide that by 3, right? So that actually tells us 1 third du is dx. So this replacement is actually going to be not du, but 1 third du. Okay, let's go ahead and plug everything in. So that will give us, I'll put the one-third out front as our constant multiple. But there I just get du, I get over the square root of a squared minus u squared. That's exactly the definition. Let's go ahead and use our definition. So I'll keep my one-third, right? That was out front. Just get inverse sine of u over a, inverse sine of u over a, plus our constant. Now let's just go back and replace, right? u is 3x and a is 5. So my answer is going to be 1 third inverse sine of 3x over 5 plus c. Looking at our last one here, we have the integral of 4x over the square root of 9 minus x to the 4 dx. So think here, this is my a squared. This x to the 4 is my u squared. So write down what those are then. What is a? Well, if a squared is 9, then a is 3. And if u squared is x to the 4, then that makes actually u is going to be x squared, because x squared squared is going to give us x to the 4, right? OK, so we've got the bottom taken care of. Let's figure out our du. So du, the derivative of x squared, is 2x dx. Now what I have is 4x dx, right? So how could I get 4x dx? Well, I could multiply both sides by 2 here. 
multiplying by 2 would give us 2 du is 4x dx. Okay, so now I know exactly what 4x dx is, so 4x dx becomes 2 du. That constant multiple 2 we can just bump out front, so let's rewrite now. So we'll say equals constant multiple 2, and we get our definition du over the square root of a squared minus u squared. And we'll use our definition, so keep your constant multiple 2. Definition is inverse sine of u over a plus c. Let's go ahead and replace our u and our a. Our u is x squared and our a is 3, so this becomes 2 inverse sine of x squared over 3 plus our constant. Okay, everyone, we've also got an entire example video on inverse tangent and inverse secant using those definitions to do integrals like these. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.